says, aren't you videotaping? So, okay, I'm gonna throw this together. It's not gonna be a quick one because it's candy, all right? I've already done my tomatoes. Anyways, I'm doing ketchup. And um, I happened to be at the drugstore yesterday and the girl says, hey, well, why don't you do one? Well, I told her I was doing ketchup. She says, why don't you do that on, on your uh, show? Um, I'd like to watch it. So, okay. All right, so it's two against one. So here we go. All right, you gotta start out with tomatoes, guys, okay? Um, I get my tomatoes from uh, the Amish, uh, uh, my can uh, the, the canning tomatoes, okay, um, and they're cheap, believe me, okay, so you're going to need, uh, I guess I'm going to have to stop a minute, somebody's calling. Anyways, look at. Come over here because I'm not moving this camera. My sister says that I have to videotape this. Hi, everybody. That's Kim. Okay, I don't know why she's here, but I'm gonna find out pretty pretty soon. <laughs> Anyways, let me. I'm gonna tell you real quick. Okay, I'm doing ketchup. All right. So you're gonna need to use tomatoes. Now, what you're gonna do with these is you're just gonna core them. Well, this is what I do. I core it. I wash them, of course, and then I cut them into pieces, throw them in the pot, put them on the stove, boil them down. Once I get them boiled down, I take my little handy dandy machine, which I've already started, okay, and I just scoop these tomatoes, all these stewed down tomatoes, still got the skins and everything. I put them in my little machine, and then I sit here and do a little dance. Do a little dance while everything, all my sauce goes into the pan, okay? So once I'm done with that, now I have to do this, I have to finish this cup because if I don't, I'm gonna get it all over my floor, which I have to mop anyways, but anyways, all this stuff, all the garbage goes out one way, all the sauce comes out another, okay? So once I'm all done with this, okay? I'm going to put it on the stove and I'm going to cook it for a little while. I'll come back. I'll give you a little show. But in my ketchup, I use an onion, red pepper flakes, celery seed, cloves, whole cloves, allspice. You're supposed to use whole allspice. Guess what? I don't have it. So, I don't use it. You have bay leaf, cinnamon stick, garlic, brown sugar, apple cider vinegar, salt, kosher salt I use, I guess it really doesn't matter, and you're gonna need a cheese cloth. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add all these spices to this cheese cloth, and I'm gonna throw it in my sauce to let it cook, okay? Um, I don't know, did I say permaflow? This is a thickener, okay? Permaflow is gonna thicken this up to make it ketchup. All right, um, the only place I can get, you can get online and get this at Amazon. It's freaking expensive, okay? I go to the Amish store up the road and I buy it. I bought five pounds for $8, cheap, okay? I'll never use five pounds in my life, but um, it doesn't go bad. Seal it up, you're good to go. Um, all right, so anyways, I'll be back and I gotta see what this, knucklehead wants and then I'll be back all right see ya bye okay guys we're back um, I have my tomatoes all on the stove cooking down okay so now I'm gonna make a spice bag throw in there to let it cook for a little while okay so um now that I'm doing more than I would the recipe I go with is two pounds of tomatoes well I got more than two pounds of tomatoes so um, I'm gonna give you the recipe for the two pounds, okay? So it's two pounds of Roma tomatoes. You cut them up, you throw them in the pot, you cook them down. It's what, what I do. And then I run it through the strainer to 
to get all the skin and the seeds out. Okay? Now, uh, or if you have an easier way, do it. Okay, so um, in the spice pack, I have I have a uh, cheesecloth right here. Okay, so I'm going to take bay leaf, which you're going to use uh, one bay leaf. You're going to use four cloves of, um, or no, four, four of these little buggers. They're cloves, whole cloves, four whole cloves. Okay, you're going to need a quarter teaspoon of red pepper flake. That's if you like it, okay? If you don't like it, don't put it in. Whatever I put in mine, you don't have to put in yours. You just, you do your own thing. Um, you know, you can, you have your own taste buds. Okay, so I have um, ground, um, ground allspice. I usually use whole, but I don't have any whole allspice. So it's a quarter teaspoon of, um, of allspice. It's, and then there's a quarter teaspoon of celery seed. Um, the salt content, it's up to you. Um, a tablespoon of salt. Um, now this is for two pounds of um, uh, tomatoes. Okay, so, and then you're going to use one cinnamon stick. Um, you're going to use a quarter cup of brown sugar, more or less. However you want to sweeten it, you don't want to use brown sugar, you want to use honey, use it. Use whatever sweetener you want. Okay, this thermal, thermal flow, it's a third of a cup. A third of a cup um, to the two pounds of tomatoes. And what you want to do with this is you want to add water first, okay? Add water to it first, stir it up, just like you would, um, um, the flour or whatever when you make the gravies, cornstarch, you want to get it working first. So um, uh, make a liquid out of that. Okay, then you have a um, uh, half a cup of cider vinegar and you have, a, you, you'd use a small onion, a small onion and a, and a clove of garlic. It seems like a lot, it, it actually is. Okay, now I put in a cheesecloth because I don't want to go fishing for this and I don't want to strain it again. Um, so you do what you think you, you, you have to do. If um, you want to just throw all those spices in, run it through the strainer again, go for it. I'm trying not to do all that work. Okay, so I'm going to make my, um, I'm going to bring in my cheesecloth. Now I do the same thing when I make my my sauce on the stove for canning. I put all my spices in in um, the cheesecloth, and then this way I don't have to go fishing for it later. Um, and I don't know. I just it's the way I've always done it. So even the onions, um, I'll just lay these out. I lay my garlic in here. Uh, like I said, you do however you want to do it, and I'll do it the way I want to do it. And this is the way I like to do it. I put my um, all my stuff on. They're in this little package. Okay. Now this may not work because it's all powdered. I know the cloves will, but we're going to do it anyways. And if it works, it works. If it doesn't. We'll add more. Okay. Once I do that, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna I'm gonna be smart about this. Cause if I if I can, yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna wrap this up like. Well, I'm not a very good package wrapper, so um, uh, if you're if you're a good package wrapper. Wrap it up, wrap it up like a Christmas present. And then I just take my twine and make a package. And what I do is I fill the whole thing in, in my um, uh, sauce. So. Now see, I wrap mine up pretty good. 
because I know how I am when it comes to so I'm losing some of my cinnamon and stuff Everybody makes mistakes, right? So it's easy to fix. You tie another piece on. I don't, my, I don't have my sister here screaming at me. Kim stayed a little while. So we shot the breeze. So. She'll be, get, she'll, she'll be able to to look at herself later when this comes out. All right, so, like I said, I wrapped this up, and I don't care what it looks like, because it's gonna go in garbage, right? I just don't want anything coming out of it, because I have all that onion in there and the garlic, and you know what? If it does come out, I have to strain it. So, let's just pray it doesn't. Okay. Now what I do is I take this and I throw it in my pot over there. Let me see. I guess I can bring you over and I'll show you what it looks like. You know, my sister loves when I do this, just so you know. All right. This is my, that's going to be my tomato ketchup. Can you see it? Ignore the dirty stove, okay? There we go. There's my tomato ketchup. Cooking down. Okay, now I'm gonna take this package. Eep. I'm gonna plop it right in here, just like that. Okay. And I'm gonna let that, it's gonna cook down for about two hours okay I'm gonna add my vinegar I'm gonna add my brown sugar brown sugar I'm gonna throw that right in look there it goes okay and then just what you want to see my mug but anyways and here we go apple cider vinegar and then I'm gonna add water to that, um, I'm gonna do it right yet. I'm gonna let that cook for a little bit, simmer a little bit. And then I'm gonna add the therm slow. Okay? Um, I have a little left here. Just a little bit of powder. Good to the last green, okay? Um, so anyways, that's so far the ketchup. Let it cook for a little longer. Now look at this doesn't take this takes a few hours to do. Um, but it smells so good. You can do it in the crock pot, you know, if you want. Um, I like to set it on low and just stir it, smell it. It's awesome. Crazy good, guys. Okay, so when I come back, we'll add that thermal flow, and then it'll cook for another half an hour, then we'll jar it up. We'll catch it a little bit. Time for coffee. See you guys. Real quick. There's my ketchup. My little ketchup packet in there. See it? So much spices. Okay. So like I said, we're gonna let that cook for a little while. Reason why I came back on, because I wanted you to look at this. This is my this is my spaghetti sauce. This is my second batch of sauce. This has been cooking about probably eight hours. Pretty close, if not more. And look, you see it? You see it? It's my there's my spice pack. Just so you didn't think it was giving you a line of crap. Then all you have to do is take that out. And you know what? I usually put it in a strainer. And then, um, see it's not quite ready yet. Still got to thicken. So, all I have to do is... Well, you can't see me, I guess. I don't know how to turn this thing around. But anyways, I'm going to clean that, um... Take that out, put it in the strainer, and 
Let it drip and then pour the juice, what's left over in there. Why? I don't know, because I want to. All right, see ya. with a little, um, well, cold tomato juice. You use water, whatever. All right, so I'm gonna, I mix that all up. And you, you have to do it like you do with cornstarch because if not, it'll get, get right into a ball, you know? It, and it's, we just wanna smooth it out. Okay, that's done. I'm gonna pour this in. I'll show you what it looks like. Yep. There's the, there's the ketchup. It's getting there. Another, probably another hour. Then I can start bottling it up. We're gonna pour our, I can't show you for a second. Hold on, I'm, I'm gonna pour this in slow and kind of stir it around like you do gravy. Okay. Then, see if I can do this left handed. So, it'll start thickening up. There's my bag. There's my ketchup. Okay. That's how easy it is to make ketchup. It's a little time consuming. Okay, I gotta put you down because I need to stir this a little bit better. Okay. The one thing I don't want to do is settle at the bottom. So I'm going to stir this up real quick. Then I'm gonna let this simmer half an hour to an hour. See how thick it is? If it's if it's thick to my liking, then I'll um, start bottling it up. Okay, I already did part of my sauce. That's sitting right here. <laughs> there, I did 12. That one, that one pan of sauce I had is right there. I just got done with it, so I gotta cover it, let it seal. Okay? Alright. I guess I'll come back one more time, and I'll show you how I can it. See, now I'm gonna can, I'm gonna put it in jars, okay? And then I'm going to put it on the stove in the jars, cover it with water and boil for 10 minutes. And um, then it's done. I know it seems like a lot of work, but the taste is all worth the while, okay? So um, I'll catch you back here in a little bit. If it'll shut off. Is it shut off? No, it's still running. Okay, hold on coffee time okay it's 9 9:15 at night it's time for a cup of coffee i need a break see ya okay guys we're back okay so what, I gotta, what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna jar these up i'll show you how i jar them and then i'm and then i'm gonna finish jarring them well i'm gonna hang up with you and then i'm gonna finish jarring them and then we got to put them in a cold bath and bring them to a boil for 10 minutes okay so all i do is here's my here's my ketchup it's boiled down quite a bit okay i'm gonna put it in the jar like so and you go about oh one inch one inch from the bottom or from the top getting tired Okay, like so. I forgot. She I forgot. Out. Now she walked away from the camera and left you guys sitting here looking at her ketchup. It's all right. My sister will edit it out like she always does. Okay, so you put that in there. And I did and not edit it make out. Make sure that the top is clean. I usually use a paper towel. And then I over here, I have my lids okay and right here all right it's just hard doing when you're by yourself put the lid on don't touch don't touch the inside or anything like that 
And then there she goes again, walking away from the camera. You get your top and just screw it on. That's it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is we're running out of room. I'm going to set this aside. Okay. I always leave the burner going. Fill it up. As this cools, it's going to get thicker because right now it's it's thick, but it'll get thicker. Put that in there. Wipe this off. It's not hard to can. More fun when you have a lot of people, though. Get my lid. And seal it up. Okay? I'm going to leave it like this. I'm going to get the rest of them done, and then I'll be back. Show you what I have to do. We're almost there. It's really not that long. It's just trying to show you and do it at the same time. It's... It's, uh... It, it seems long. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, guys. This is our last step. Alright? Uh, I know I'm probably boring you. I, I didn't want to do the darn thing in the first place because it just takes so long to do this. But anyways, I have my... My, uh... Jars in the water. They've been boiling 10 minutes. Okay? So, what you do is you take this little handy-dandy little thing here. And if you don't have one of these, buy one. Because you don't want to burn yourself. Okay? So, I turned the heat down. I'm yanking this out. And here it is. I'm going to sit right over here with all the rest of them. Okay? Once I'm all done, I got to do the rest of these. Okay? Here's another one. Once I'm all done with this, I'm going to cover them up. It's going to be done. Okay. And there you have my, my ketchup. Okay. The best I can do for you. All right. I hope my sister approves of this, uh, this, uh, video since she's not here doing it with me. And, um, if you like this, give me a thumbs up, a like, a share, whatever. And, uh, we'll catch you next time. Okay. Now let me get back to work, get this stuff done. Call it a night. Catch you later.